Hi Table Tennis Junkies, I'm going to be teaching the Fast Backhand Topspin Serve this week. This is a great serve that has a nice kick on it and combines well with the short backhand serves, so let's get started. The first two things that I always like to show people on any serve are the grip and the stance. So the grip on the backhand serve is, is basically, if you have the shake hands grip, you'll just take the index finger off, the thumb will stay the same, and I actually call it the hammer grip because it's like you were to grab a hammer and smash something with it. If you are a pen hold player, you don't need to change the grip at all. As far as the stance goes, there are two ways you can stand. You can stand so you're facing the table. This is the way that I do the serve. The other way to do it is kind of perpendicular to the table. There's a lot of really good players who do it this way also, and including like Dmitry Ovtrov does it this way. The advantage of doing it kind of perpendicular to the table, almost facing away, is you'll be able to generate a lot better side spin on the ball. The key to choosing the, which stance to use is you should have it match whatever you do for the short serve. So if you serve short like this, then you want to have your fast serve with the same stance. If you serve short this way, then you want to have your fast serve this way. You don't, what you don't want is you don't want to serve short this way and then have a different stance for your fast serve because that'll just be a kind of a giveaway for your opponent and you just you want them to look as similar as possible. I'll demonstrate the stroke so you can see it here. The first thing you want to do is reach forward and hit that like button. As I start this stroke, I like to cross my arms like this with the hand with the ball in it underneath and the racket hand on top. As I start the swing, I'll reach back to my ear or maybe even a little further back and then I'll come through the ball. I'm going to be using a lot of forearm going forward on it and then my elbow is going to pull up. So the forearm motion going forward will help with the speed and pulling up with the elbow will, will generate the top spin. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate the serve here. This is the one where you're facing the table and you can kind of just see how, how the stroke is. I'm going to be whipping my forearm forward and my elbow up as I come through this ball. Here's the same serve with a different stance. I'm going to be turning my body so it's kind of facing perpendicular away from my target. And this will allow me to get better side spin on the ball because as I contact it, I'm going to be going forward and hitting the side of the ball. Here's an example of the fast backhand serve with more of a squared up stance. This is the way that I like to do it, but again, it's up to you. Here's an example of the more turned stance with the fast backhand serve. This is a really good way to get extra side spin on the serve. To do the fast serve effectively, it's very important to make your opponent think that the short serve is coming. So as you prepare for the serve, it's you kind of want the same stroke and the same stance and the same grip and all of the same looks of the short serve. So that way when you pull out the fast one, it'll, it'll surprise your opponent. Now the backhand serve is one of my very favorite serves, but it is a tough serve to do fast. And part of the reason for that is because there isn't a whole lot of runway leading up to the, the contact with the ball. So when I say to reach back by your ear or even further, that's to help extend that runway and help you generate more racket speed leading up to the contact. So if you have a real short uh, runway kind of coming into the contact, you're not going to be able to generate very much racket speed. So if you reach back further, you have more potential to, to swing harder and the harder you swing will help you generate more speed on the ball and more spin on the ball. So if, you reach, if, you're, if you're not swinging hard, you're not going to be able to get the ball to move very fast. One more thing to demonstrate with the stroke is as I'm doing it, 
I'm gonna be whipping my forearm forward and I'm gonna be pulling my elbow up. So the forward motion is gonna generate the speed on the ball and the elbow movement is gonna generate the top spin. So as I start, I'm actually starting either even with the ball or slightly below it. So that way, as I stroke through the ball, I can pull up with my elbow. If I were to start high, then I can't really pull up from there and I won't be able to generate any topspin. So I actually have to start either even or below so I can pull up with my elbow to generate that topspin. Like I've said in some of my other videos, side spins work very well to one side of the table, but not so well to the other side of the table. So the backhand serve works really well, the side spin on it works really well down the line into the opponent's forehand. However, if I'm doing the fast backhand serve, I'm generally doing this one cross court into my opponent's backhand. And the reason for that is because as I'm doing the serve, I'm not generally doing the fast one consistently. I'm doing the short one as like my, my standard serve. So my standard serve, I'm gonna be doing down the line because that's gonna be where it's most effective. And then to surprise my opponent, I'm gonna be doing it in the opposite direction to try to catch him off guard. Any fast serve, its main purpose is to catch your opponent off guard and just kind of catch him by surprise. So if I were to do the fast one down the line, it might be better side spin, but that's not really the purpose of the serve. The purpose of the serve is to catch him off guard. So generally going cross court would be more of a surprise than, than doing it down the line. All right, so how do I prepare for the next shot after doing the fast backhand serve? Well, like I said earlier, it's a little bit riskier of a fast serve than some of the other ones because it's harder to get the racket speed and the, the speed on the serve. So when it works, it works really well, but I like to prepare for the worst case scenario on the serve just because of that risk. So after doing the fast serve with the backhand, I'll prepare to block, like stick the block, or I'll prepare to rally right after the serve. So how would I return the serve if somebody did it to me? Well, I would definitely try to shorten my stroke with any fast serve because the ball is going to be coming fast. If I swing big, there's a lot of risk involved, so I'll be shortening my stroke. But I'm also definitely going to be trying to attack the serve with either a loop or just kind of punching through the ball. Recapping on the tips for the serve today, the first is you're going to want to change it to the hammer grip. I like to serve this fast uh, cross court into my opponent's backhand. If you want to generate the speed, you want to go forward and kind of across. And to generate the top spin, you're going to pull up on the elbow. That'll help give the ball a kick and kind of bounce up on your opponent. And the last tip is be ready to rally after this serve. That's very important. That's all for this week's video. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a like. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and I will get back to you. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week.